What it says is Senator McConnell wants, to us, wants us to ignore the fact that the repeal of the Health Care Act will add $230 billion to our national deficit over the next 10 years and more than a trillion dollars in the decade after that. A party that comes to the floor every single day telling us their passionate determination to end our deficits and address our debt with the McConnell Amendment will add $230 billion to our national deficit over 10 years and a trillion dollars more in the next 10. This is a budget buster amendment. This will add more to the deficit in one fell swoop than any single thing we have done in Congress in the time that I have served. And it's being offered by the party of so-called fiscal responsibility. I also want to say that when we talk about premium increases currently taking place under health insurance policies across America, I understand it. We've all lived through it. We've seen it. Businesses see it all the time. There is a provision in our Affordable Health Care Act which addresses it that would be repealed by the McConnell Amendment. The provision is called medical loss ratio, and it says that a health insurance company has to spend 80 to 85 percent of premium dollars on actual health care. They can't take it away in advertising, in administrative costs, in salaries and bonuses for their CEOs. 